In 2 Kings chapter 20, we have the story of the death of Hezekiah. Well, it starts like this. He's, he's sick, he's in bed, he's, he's going to die. And the prophet Isaiah actually comes to him and tells him, God has sent me to you to tell you uh, to prepare your house for your time is up. And Hezekiah just rolls over in the bed and he turns his face to a wall and he begins to pray and begins to remind the Lord how he served him and how he loves him. And Isaiah, on his way out, is stopped by the Lord. Listen to what it says. And it happened before Isaiah had gone out of the middle court that the, the word of the Lord came to Isaiah saying, Return, tell Hezekiah, the leader of my people, thus says the Lord, the God of David, your father, I've heard your prayer, I've seen your tears, I will heal you on the third day and you shall go up to the house of the Lord and I will add to your days 15 years. I'm going to heal you, I've heard your prayer, and I'm going to give you 15 more days years. And listen to what he says. I will defend the city for my own sake and for the sake of David. Then Isaiah said, take a lump of figs. So that they took and laid it on the boil and he recovered. What a strange story. Here's a guy the Lord has sent us a prophet to Isaiah, not a minor prophet. This guy's, you know, Isaiah. So he tells him, you're going to die. He prays, God hears, Go back, Isaiah, tell him he's going to live. So God hears his prayer. God sends a prophet. And God heals him. But the weird thing is they took some figs and put it on a boil. He's got some kind of weird disease with a boil. And he gets healed by using the figs and an answer to prayer. So a couple of things to be reminded of. God hears our prayers. God sends people into our lives. And God heals. And sometimes God heals by using medication. He used these figs in the process of healing. And then Hezekiah goes on to live for 15 more years. And there's another part of the story. These Babylonians keep entreating him and coming to him. And so Hezekiah shows them all the wealth of Israel, shows all the gold and things in the temple. And what happens is he kind of takes pride in the fact that he's accomplished all this. And they come in and sack the city. They take the gold, they take the silver, and here's sort of the moral of the story. Hezekiah, in those last 15 years he was given, did not finish well. Yes, the Lord healed him. Yes, the Lord raised him up. Yes, the Lord sent a prophet. But Hezekiah became proud, he became self-sufficient, and he took some of the glory to himself. So I would close this kind of Devo time here in 2 Kings chapter 20 by saying, anybody can start well. It's finishing strong and finishing well that really counts. Hezekiah is a warning of that for you and I. God did great things through him and in him, but in the end, he blew it. So Hezekiah warns us and reminds us that God heals, God restores, but you and I are called to finish strong and to finish well.